Hey everybody, welcome back to Going Ballistic. Okay, this is definitely a science video here. We're gonna try something different that we haven't, or I don't think anybody's ever done before. So we got these beautiful full auto machine guns of Justin's here. He's got his DPM, he's got his Vietnam era M16 clone. It's close, but you know, it's his own taste. And then we got the Sten Mark II here. This is an interesting looking gun. We always thought, looks like they made that thing out of plumbing parts or something, but it's a cool little machine gun. Then we got the PPS 4352. The 52 is the year, and then also they had the uh, wooden stock on it. And then we got the bad boy Justin's been working on forever. This is an MG42 full auto. Hitler's buzzsaw up to 1,500 rounds a minute. So what we got here is we got this thermal scope here. This is an old PAS-13 um, on loan from a good friend of ours. And this takes thermal imaging and then it's in the green and black. Anything that's bright green is hot. Anything that's black is cold. So what we want to do, um, when you look in this video here, we did that to the DPM here to see how the barrel and stuff heated up, but it was really quick. So it gave us an idea to capture and see how the rest of these machine guns actually heat up um, through the thermal scope. We'll try to get it um, dialed in as best as we can. They are not a crystal clear image on these things. They are a little bit fuzzy, but you know, they weren't made for science projects like this. So. We're gonna get this set up. We're gonna get the guns cooled down so they'll be black. Again, anything that heats up should glow a bright green and you should be able to see the barrels heat up, hopefully, uh, with this experiment. So let's get this started. Here we go. All right, so first up, <clears throat> we're gonna do this Sten Mark II. It's chambered a nine millimeter. It's not pretty yet, haven't quite finished it. It's just been a work in progress, but it kind of works for the most part. So let's see what it does. Clear. Well, that was fun. Up next is the PPS 43-52, chambered in nine millimeter, not the traditional 7.62-25. It had a little miss speed, but got a few rounds out. There it is, clear. All right, up next is my Vietnam Air M16 clone in 5.56. It's kind of ugly. I think it's cool. You could probably say the same thing about me. <laughs> Clear. All right, now it's time for the DPM chambered in 7.62.54R. I love the cyclic rate on this thing. Oh, 
Oh my God, that was so much fun. That is insane. I love it. All right, now it's time for the big boy. We got a much higher rate of fire <clears throat> in Hitler's buzzsaw, the MG42. It's actually chambered in 308, uh, or if you want to call it MG3. All right, here we go. Man, that's a much different rate of fire. I love it. Well, everybody, thank you guys for watching. Uh, this was the first experiment with the uh, PAS 13 thermal uh, scope. So we're going to try to see if we can find a better thermal scope also so we can get some really detailed um, heat signatures from these barrels, the gas chambers, even the brass hitting the table. Um, hey, at least we're the first to try it. We'll try to perfect it. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you to our patrons. Don't forget to pick up your guys' t-shirts. We still got a lot of t-shirts. You buy the blue one, you get a free laser engraved 50 cal brass that was shot on this channel. And if you buy the green ones, you get a free laser engraved dog tag while supplies last. So we thank you guys again for all your support. We'll be back. These two are interesting looking.